Hello, it's me again. Welcome back. Happy to have you here with me. Yeah, today we're gonna make a very special recipe. An Austrian or German recipe. It's gonna be all about apples, how to use old apples. And we're gonna make apple strudel, yay! <laughs> and I'm also gonna show you how to make a vanilla sauce to serve it with. Yes, so we're gonna start... Yeah, getting a lot of apples. I used 11 in total, so it's really a great way to use apples that have brown spots or don't look that great on the outside anymore. And then we're gonna start with the dough first. For that, we're gonna mix some flour, some water, some oil and a little bit of vinegar and add an egg. But if you're vegan, you can substitute the egg for vegan yogurt, like 40 to 50 grams. Or you don't have to and can just leave it out and use a little bit more water. I can put a recipe in the description as well. And yeah, then we're going to add some salt as well. And then you'll have a super nice and stretchy dough that's easy to work with. <laughs> And if you're the same as me, then you'll always have to wash your fingers because you don't like the dirty feeling. <laughs> and then you can get started with mixing the dough. For this, I'm using a hand mixer with a dough attachment. That's going to help me combine all the ingredients. And then after we have this grainy texture, I'm going to roll up my sleeves and we're going to start kneading it. And yeah, first in the bowl and when everything comes together, I'm going to take it to the surface and just use both of my hands to build the gluten structure. Gluten is a kind of protein and the more you knead it, the stronger it's going to get. It also helps to give bread its structure and yeah, that's what we're searching for. So yeah, that's the texture you want to search for. This is our little dough baby. Then you're done and we're gonna let it rest for half an hour. Just put a towel or a cloth on top and let it rest. Meanwhile, we're gonna start with the filling. For that, we're gonna peel the apples first. And while peeling the apples, I noticed that it's gonna be a lot of waste as well. So I'm gonna add a recipe for apple cider vinegar as well in the end. And if your apples got some brown spots, don't worry. You can still put them in the filling. They won't change the taste. It's just important that they're not like moldy or something. But yeah, you won't even notice if they're a little bit brown. And I'm putting the core and the skins aside for the apple cider vinegar. And just make sure to cut the apple flesh into equal sized small pieces so that they distribute well in the apple strudel. Very nice. And then we're gonna add like four teaspoons of sugar to draw out the water and add more sweetness and also some cinnamon and the juice of one whole lemon. And by the way I'm also going to put all the exact measurements down in the video description. The most important part is cinnamon. That's the fucking best spice ever. It's my favorite. If I would be a spice, I'd be cinnamon. You can put it on everything and yeah, it just, it's the highlights. Here I cut the lemon and that's also good for preventing uh, the apples from browning. So they stay nice and, I don't know, vibrant. And then we're going to mix it all up. And due to the sugar drawing out the water out of the apples, you get a nice soupy consistency down in the bowl. That's also the best. So that's exactly what we're looking for. And then we're going to roll out the dough. For that, we're going to use a special technique. But yeah, first you want to make sure your dough is soft and nice and it has a good texture and I decided to knead it for a bit but you don't need it because then the gluten is gonna get tougher and yeah it's harder to roll out the dough 
and I divided the dough into two pieces to make two strudels just because I prefer two small strudels over one bigger one and the technique I talked about is um, placing your towel on your working sheet working sheet working area <laughs> and just uh, putting some flour on top to prevent the dough from sticking and then you put your dough on top and take your rolling pin and you want to roll it pretty pretty thinly like thinner than one millimeter yeah you can just release your whole aggression and um I also like tugging the dough, like you can see I'm holding um, the dough down at the bottom and dragging it across with the rolling pin and yeah, because my gluten was so like tough and, <laughs> and it was hard to roll it, I switched doughs and um, yeah, let one of the doughs rest and worked with the other one to um, yeah be more quick because when the gluten is too tense it's pretty hard and difficult to roll it out so yeah you just want to roll it pretty pretty thinly and if you get one of these ridges don't worry it's all fixable it can happen, just roll again over it. And if you happen to tear the dough, don't worry either. Uh, most of the times you can just press or pinch the dough together back again and roll over it. And even if it um, if it's not fixable, the only thing that's going to happen is that some of the juice of the filling is going to spill out while baking. But it's going to taste great in the end, I'm sure. And that's all that matters. So yeah, just keep trying and I'll hope the best for you. You know, today is all about <laughs> the inner beauty of things. So um, it doesn't matter if your apple strudel isn't pretty on the outside in the end. It just matters that it's pretty on the inside and tastes great. And the reason why we put the dough on the towel is to see if it's thin enough. You want to see the pattern of the towel through the dough. Uh, I chose a bad towel, but here I put a picture of how it can look like. So yeah, that's why we put the towel there. And then we're going to preheat our oven to 180 degrees Celsius. Yeah, I'm going to fill the apple strudel. And yeah, then we're going to start filling our apple dough. Uh, our apple strudel. <laughs> yeah, for that we're going to also divide our filling into two because we are going to make two little apple strudels and yeah just um, put it on the dough and spread it out and leave some space at the edges to roll it up in the end and optionally you can add some raisins I love me some raisins so I had to put them in there but if you don't like them that's also fine and then you want to fold in the edges, uh, in the top and at the bottom. And the towel is also pretty handy to help us roll the apple strudel together. And if you have some dough at the edges that is too much, just put it inside like I did. Or as you can see in the video. And yeah. You can lift the towel at the side and just start um, rolling the dough onto itself. Here you're gonna see it to help you roll it up. Very nice. Then you can press it a, a little bit together and see that yeah, you prevent it from tearing and then put it on a baking sheet lined with with some parchment paper and yeah then you can take some butter or a little bit of oil and brush your little strudel baby <laughs> uh, that's also gonna help it to get more brown 
if you don't like your pastries brown don't do it and because I had so much of the good sugary juice left over I put it on top as well to caramelize for a bit and yeah put it in the oven for about 50 minutes and yeah enjoy the smell of good baked apples <laughs> Fifty minutes later, you can take out your good apple strudel. That's what mine looked like. Yeah, as you can see, the sugar caramelized pretty well. And then take it out of the oven. Don't burn your face. <laughs> and yeah, then we're gonna let it cool off for a bit so we don't burn our mouth by the hot apples. And meanwhile, gonna make some vanilla sauce because that's the best for that you're gonna take some milk i chose soy milk some cornstarch a little bit of vanilla extract and uh, i don't know how many teaspoons but some teaspoons of sugar <laughs> and then you're gonna mix it so that all the ingredients are well mixed into the milk and then you're gonna start heating the mixture until it gets nice and thick that's due to the cornstarch. It helps thicken up your sauce. And yeah, after that, you can let the vanilla sauce cool off for a bit. And now we cut into our apple strudel. And here's what it looks like on the inside. The nice juicy apples, the brown crust on the outside. And yeah, serve it with the vanilla sauce and then you can dig into it and enjoy. Here for the taste test. <laughs> I really loved it. But I mean, I love every dessert with apples, so <laughs> you can't go wrong there. Little happy dance. <laughs> Here, now you enjoy. And the other one, I didn't want to bake at that time. I would um, put it into a bag and put it into the freezer. Because this recipe is also freezer friendly. You can prepare it and just keep it in the freezer to serve your guest or yourself at any time. Um, just make sure that it's packed up very tightly so nothing can harm it. <laughs> And make sure to let it thaw for a bit first and then you can also put some butter on it and like repeat the same steps with baking that I did here. And while all this was happening and while I'm editing this video for about a, more than a month, <laughs> I'm sorry, uh, I made this apple vinegar. I put the skins and the cores into water and for about a week I stirred it. Uh, once a day and then I strained the juice from the apples or the core and the skin and I had this jar which I left out for I think it was two weeks yeah I mean it looks a bit disgusting but it's normal it's like uh, I have to search up the word in English again but it's a kind of bacteria that's good and your like um, intestines love. And yeah, you want to strain it. I also strained it through a towel or if you have like filters, like coffee um, filters, take these. I think they're great as well um, because you want to get out any bigger pieces. And then I put it into little glass jars and now I'm keeping them in my fridge and I use it for salad dressings or I don't know what you would use apple cider for. <laughs> but it's your choice and I think it's a great way to, to make your own and save some money. Make sure that it's clean. And sterile so I hope I could also inspire you to use 
every part of the apple because apples are so great. They are rich in different vitamins like vitamin B1, B2, B6 and also vitamin E and vitamin C. So they're great and they also have many antioxidants and fiber. Thanks for watching!